Okay, we're gonna catch some pigs to put them into the trailer and get them to the butcher. Ready for some people's freezers. Kids are out from school because of this virus. So they've been helping a lot on the farm and we're getting a lot done. Now it's time to load up some pigs. I caught them in the box already. So I need to pick that up. I use the forks on the loader tractor. So we'll pick that up and we'll bring it over and set it into this. We'll, we'll position it up against the trailer and get the pigs to walk out onto it. So, oh, about three or four days ago, or maybe even more, I put this box in the pasture and uh, that's how we catch them. So now we're ready to pick this up and we'll, we'll get them in. We'll see how this works out. Right, Jake? Yeah. Well, that got a little hectic for a minute. I had two pigs in there, as you saw, and one of them bailed out, jumped right out. I've never had that happen before, but this little black one, I say little, it's not very little, but that one jumped right out. So now it's going to be a little shy about getting back in the old box, I think. So we might only take two or even three pigs to the butcher this, we're going tomorrow. This paddock, this pasture for them, I kind of had to write off this year. It, the other ones, they, uh, in the early winter, late fall months, they, they were on them and grazed them down and started digging in those ones. So. I put them in here and just kind of let them stay with this one and, and decided we'll just have to manage it and uh, reseed it and get it going again this this spring. Um, and so that's that's going to be next once we get these guys out of here. Uh, I got the two two left here to go to butcher and then uh, these two sows, they, they uh, individually have to go have a, spend a little time with their boyfriend, the boar. And... Uh, get with him next and then this one will be empty and we'll be able to seed it and then before we know it we'll have pigs back on it but they won't stay on for as long they'll come through quick and then the other paddocks because we have uh about five different paddocks that they can rotate through and uh and then as long as we as long as we keep ahead and, and we don't let them stay on any one of them for more than uh a week to two weeks depending on how things are growing and how much rain we're getting we'll keep them moving and uh, they won't ruin them. What are you doing, Jim? I'm feeding. Yeah, you feeding them some leftovers? What do you got here? What are you feeding them? What are you feeding them? Mm -hmm. Looks like some old spinach and some blueberries. Spinach. Yeah, a little bit of leftover fish. Hey buddy, we gotta feed them in the box so that they'll go in there. Here we're gonna we're gonna dump that right in there. Let's go put it in the box. Let me dump it right in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, huh? Okay. Here. I'll give you this back. Colin. Get in the other side. Get in the other side. They don't follow directions very good, do they? No. No. All right, let's walk away from these guys so they'll um, so they'll they'll go in there without us bothering them. And then when we get a couple in there, we'll sneak over and close the door. Give you a peek of the one pig we got in the trailer. We got him caught. We got them locked in the forward part right now. Hey, buddy. I'd like to get at least two. At least two to make the trip worthwhile and hopefully a steer as well.
okay, the pigs are getting the best of me jumping out of the box. So this fancy deluxe box you see is time for a little bit of an upgrade. Just have some simple flat stock on hand, not getting crazy, just stuff I have on hand. I'm gonna put them across the top. It'll give it a little strength to the top, plus it'll give them uh, a barrier so they can't jump out of this darn thing. So let's do some welding. This is the end where they would get their hoofs up and work their way up, so that's why I got a little extra here. Because they get up. No. Need a bigger welder to do a better job, but that little one does a decent job. 